It's May 21st, 2010. All right, people, this is it. Lisa is declaring war, unfortunately. I'm a pacifist, and I don't want to do this, but I have no choice. This is going to be taped on the outside of our apartment door, which will be latched. It's dated today, the 21st of May, 2010. Chris, I don't think it's normal that you don't care, because that's all he keeps saying is, I don't care. I don't know. I don't care. I don't know. I don't care. He's been doing this all year. That you don't need money or a place to stay. You say you'll just leave. Fine. Good luck out there. I was going to get you a room in the Formula 1. That's a hotel. But you don't like when I do things. So take this letter to Les Urgences. That's the emergency room. Hôpital de la Fontaine. You should stay there in their psychiatric unit. Oh, I spelled that wrong. It's T-H-E-I-R. In their psychiatric unit until you are better. Here, let me correct that. T H E I R I E R. There. Well, you know. Okay. Then you want a divorce, you find a lawyer and get one. I think you are very wrong to end our marriage because I was a problem in 2010. Five months out of 16 years. My heart is broken. You've lost it. God is your co pilot now because he always used to call me his co-pilot, because in the Dinkmobile, I help him find things, and, and we, I help him drive, you know? So this is a letter that the doctor who came to make a house call this morning filmed, uh, filmed wrote to Dr. Dissigny on Rue Moreau in Saint-Denis, uh, saying that Chris needs, uh, my husband needs to see a psychiatrist. I think he needs to be in a hospital, okay? But, at the very least, he's going to go see a psychiatrist. Okay, so there it is, on the outside of the door. And I'm closing the door. And I am latching the door. Okay? Now, Angelo, Pastor Merlo, Chris wasn't feeling well this year. And you have basically screwed me. You've decided, apparently, several weeks ago, you sent me an email, which I don't have, um, it might be in there, I don't know. You said you sent it a couple weeks ago. On May 4th, I posted an automatic message saying that I was, you know, in protective custody and how to reach my agent and everything. And you either didn't see that or you sent me the note saying you were bowing out, as you call it, of our book project, The Frank Letters, about Full Force Frank, um, before May 4th. You've spoken to me since then, and we've exchanged emails, and you did not indicate that there was any problem with our project. The last time I talked to you, we were going to go ahead with it. All right, everybody. End of marriage three. I just can't take it anymore, and I, I, I can't go back to the United States. I can't get health care there. The U.S. government, Social Security, they've lost my dossier for disability again, the third time in seven years. Um, I want them to find it. I've written to them. I want them to find it. Uh, they owe me at least $70,000 in back benefits, and I should be getting disability from the United States government, but I'm not because they keep losing my dossier. They know they owe it to me. They keep losing my dossier. And the French government says that I don't qualify for anything because I'm married to Chris and he earns a little bit too much and we don't have any children and I'm dependent on him. If I leave this apartment, I, it will be abandonment de domicile and I will lose the right to any alimony, any future alimony. So I've locked everything up before I went to see my doctor this afternoon this is locked up. This is locked up. I have the keys. I had a bug out bag ready. Everything is here. I guess my room is a mess. The, the salon is a mess. My things are in here, or else they're in this other bag here. And, um, you know, my I've got his bank card and his passport, and I've got the extra set of car keys, the extra set of keys to this apartment, and he he won't be able to get any money. I've locked up the... He told me yesterday that the money, whatever money we have, I'll never find it, you know. And it's not even in my name, most of it. 
It's in his name. It's not even in joint accounts. So, you know, the first two divorces, I was nice. I was too nice. I'm always too nice. You know, and I'm having other problems here. I was assaulted four times in February. Nobody helps me. Nobody listens to me. Nobody helps me. It's always me who's the problem. Me who needs to be medicated. Well, I was not very good in very good shape in February and March after being attacked four times, but I'm better now. I healed myself in April, and protective custody was a nightmare. My feet are all swollen, so they put me on a mood regulator because one of the nurses yelled at me twice, and I got nervous, and they were like, oh, you need a drug. And right away, this started swelling my feet. These drugs always do this to me. I warned them, and they want me to go back. I don't think so. I'm waiting for a cure thermal in Dax, but I'm afraid. You know, I'm going to have to have the locks changed. He's not coming back in here. I'm afraid of him. I haven't really been able to sleep much this year. And Angelo kept me up all night waiting for his phone call, which was supposed to come at 7 o'clock this morning, my time. And I sat there, and it didn't come. Chris slept in his room last night because I haven't been able to sleep. I'm afraid of him. You know. All right, people. That's what's happening.